Good morning guys, coming to you from freezing cold, pouring with rain, May in London. What is going on? <laughs> I know I talk about the weather too much, but it's freezing and it's pouring with rain and it's the end of May. What is going on? Come on. <laughs> I hope you are all well. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments last week on the video with Hannah. Oh my God, her ego. She is loving reading all of those comments. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed seeing her and just like loads of you said that there was just a really happy vibe in that video so great I'm happy about that thank you for watching it as I said it is a dreary start to the week but I'm not gonna let it ruin my day I should have a nice little video coming up for you today this video is actually sponsored by John Lewis which I am just over the moon about I'm such a John Lewis fangirl always have been like it's just like ingrained in me anyway i will talk to you more about that later this video is sponsored by the john lewis any day range and i'll be chatting to you all about that uh, later on in the video but this morning we are going somewhere quite cool and exciting i mentioned last week that i feel a bit cautious like getting back to normal life it's not so much like going places it's the getting there that I haven't quite figured out yet. I just feel, I don't feel ready to get back on the tube and I don't know, don't know what it is. I don't even know what I'm worried about. I just think I'm worried I'm gonna get overwhelmed and panicky and then feel stuck and oh, it's so weird. I just used to love the tube. I was always one of those people that loved the tube, but no one loves the tube. I loved the tube. I just need to like bite the bullet one day, but I'm not ready yet and it's pouring with rain. So today, me, Rich and Grey are gonna head to East London and we're gonna go visit a place called Italy. It's a huge Italian indoor food market. There's actually one in New York that I've been to and now one has opened here. It opened a little while ago, but I haven't been able to visit yet and I've just been desperate. You guys know I love Italian food and I love London, I love food markets. Um, hopefully I'll make a little reel about it when I'm there. And I think it'll be really fun. I think Grey will love it as well. It'll be all like indoors and safe and like, not rainy so we're gonna drive there hopefully it won't take too long the rain and road works mean the roads are like a bit chaotic at the moment but hopefully it won't take too long to drive there so that's the plan for this morning we're aiming to get there for kind of gray's lunchtime and me and rich can have an early lunch with her i'm excited for some pasta and italian food they look like they do like amazing burrata there as well so i'm going to take you guys along with me we're actually leaving the house guys we're leaving the house i'm going to show you somewhere cool in london don't say I never treat you. Okay, I've done my hair and makeup, a bit of perfume. I wanted to wear my nice like trench coat, but I think I need to put on like a massive, big winter waterproof. <laughs> Rich has just called me to be like, I'm here. He's like parked around the corner an alleyway. It's really difficult to explain, but basically our, our area is like a nightmare for driving. And so I have to walk like 10 minutes around the corner to go and meet him. Let me just, let me just show you what the weather's like. It's, actual torrential storms out there oh, i don't think i've ever seen so much rain in my life so yeah that's gonna be really fun i need to go out in that now <laughs> i'm gonna get absolutely soaked well thank you john lewis for this um umbrella i worked with them a while back and got this very handy umbrella which is huge okay i'm walking I'm walking to go and find rich okay we have arrived in east london Every time we get somewhere, sorry, I just put some gum in. Okay. That, every time we get somewhere, Grey goes, me, 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 every time we park. Like, she thinks we're going to get out and leave her. Grey, you're coming too. Mm. Yeah, do you want to go have lunch? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Feels so good to be back in East London. Just putting Grey in the buggy. Oh, it's here, so it's right next to Liverpool Street Station. That's so good. Right. We found it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ready? Yep. I'm hungry. Pasta, here we come. Okay, so we just came in. We're walking through this massive tunnel. I just kind of want to walk around and get my bearings first, really. What? We found the kind of fresh fruit and veg section. So Grey's just getting... You got it? What have you oh. got, Grey? Peas. Peas, our favourite. Put some in. <laughs> look how amazing these tomatoes look. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I haven't really had a chance to properly look around yet because it's half 11, so Gray needs to eat. So we've stopped at, oh, I don't even know what this restaurant is called. I asked what's the best one for pizza pasta, and they pointed me in this direction. I think it's called a Manifesto de Pasta a Pizza. I got spaghetti tomato, Rich got a pizza, we're gonna both share with Grey. Um, I'm starving even at 11.30 and we're excited. We are so not used to coming out to eat with Grey. We keep forgetting that uh, we really need to bring her toys. Like all we've got is this, which is really not that entertaining. So we'll probably have to eat quite fast. <laughs> I think the most impressive thing so far is the fact that we managed to order lunch food at 11.30 because most restaurants don't serve till 12. And if they serve before, there's more brunch food, which is so annoying for parents kids I find so the fact that we've come into an Italian pizza pasta restaurant and all the pasta at 11 30 is ideal. This is deep fried pizza dough. Oh my gosh. That is so weird. The sauce is like tomatoey pizza sauce. And then this is almost like donut but not sweet. It's like the texture of a donut because it's deep fried but it just kind of tastes like bread. Mm, the sauce makes it. Okay, Rich's pizza has arrived. It looks amazing. And this is my pasta. We're gonna both share a bit with Grey. Oh, they've got artichokes here, but these aren't the artichokes that I like. I prefer a globe artichoke, I have to say, but they do look good. All right, let's go down. Guys, look at this fresh pasta. It looks amazing. Okay, we're just gonna get an ice cream for Grey gelato. Um, and then head out because she's getting a bit bored. Um, I feel like I haven't shown you guys much on the vlog, but I've taken so many clips, I'm gonna make a reel for Instagram. Sorry, I'm wearing a disposable mask because I couldn't find my proper mask. Um, I made a reel, so head over to my Instagram to have a look at that. Let me see what you've got. Oh, wow. Just come into all press because Rich needs to get some more coffee. We are home finally. There was quite a lot of traffic getting home in that rain, but what a lovely morning. It was so nice. It was so nice to go somewhere like cool and new and yeah, I would really recommend it. It's not like just to like manage your expectations. It's not like what you'd expect from a food market in East London. It's not like trendy and cool. It's very like it's quite authentic and traditional in an Italian way, which I think is really nice and like fitting for what it is. Um, it was a little bit tricky to get in with a buggy and if you needed disabled access there is like a special door around the back but on the way out they said to us like oh give us a heads up next time which seems a bit like silly you're not really going to do that are you if you're popping in so there were quite a lot of stairs and like rotating doors to get in just so you know but other than that the food was so nice there was so much there like cheese veg they were making pasta everywhere and it was really definitely worth visiting, I would say. So we're home now and Grey's had a little nap. They are downstairs. I think they're gonna play something together. I've just popped up here to my office because I wanted to chat to you guys about what this video is actually about, which is John Lewis's new own brand, Any Day. And I'm so excited about this. I actually saw the TV ad the other night when I was watching TV and I love when that happens when I see like a TV ad or a billboard ad that's like part of the same campaign that I'm working on because it makes me even further understand like the campaign and it's such a brilliant TV ad. Anyway, that's like a side note. As I said, I'm a huge fan of John Lewis. It's always been my like go-to. My mum has like instilled it in me. That is the place you go if I needed something for school, if I needed something for uni. When we got married, we had a wedding list at John Lewis. When we had a baby, we got all our baby stuff from John Lewis. It's just like the first place I would think to go for anything. But as well as like special occasions, like having a baby and getting married, John Lewis is just about the everyday items, you know, not just the special moments, but the things that you use every day. So they've created this any day range and it's so, so brilliant because the quality is John Lewis standard, amazing quality, but the value is incredible. So I'm gonna link below in the description box, the link to the any day collection. And you guys will see there are so many products. It's like pages and pages of stuff from crockery, like kitchenware, to baby items, things like cots are on there, stuff for your home, clothes, there is literally so many different items to pick from and they're all collated in this any day collection. There are some really brilliant pieces to pick from and I think you guys will be really interested in this range. I like jumped at the chance to work on it because I just knew this is like so perfect for you guys. So 
definitely go check out all the products. I picked out a few bits that we needed in our home, some kind of everyday items, some things a bit more special. So I'm gonna show you those now. Annoyingly, I picked out loads of stuff for our garden and as I've already spoken about, the weather is not playing ball today. So I really wanted to show you like the garden and how I was gonna make it all nice around the table and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it because it's just so, so wet. So what I'm gonna try to do is later on in the week, if the weather improves, I'm gonna try and lay it all out and I'll insert some sort of clip. Hopefully that will happen. But until then, I will show you. We did get an outdoor rug. Oh my God, I was so excited to see the garden stuff that's part of the Any Day collection. They have an outdoor rug and it comes in a couple of colors. We got it in the teal. It's downstairs, so I can't really show you right now because it's like a massive rug. But we're gonna put that underneath our outdoor seating area and it just kind of makes it a bit more of a zone. I've always wanted an outdoor rug. I think this one is an indoor or outdoor rug and it comes in a mustard as well, so that's really cool. And then sticking with the garden theme, I'll show you the garden stuff first. I, I just fell in love with this stuff when I saw it online. <gasps> Look at this. This is like, a, do you call this a carafe? This could actually be used for multiple things. It could be used as a vase, but I would use this for drinks, for water or like juice or anything. It's so summery. It's got this gorgeous lemon print on it. It's so, so special. So this would be so perfect for when we're entertaining and have people around and put it in the garden. Um, and then I guess when it's not summer, I could use it as a vase indoors. And then to go with that, I got some of the glasses. I couldn't pick which prints. So I got two of each print because I love them all. So I got two of the lemon glasses, which I just absolutely love. And then I got two of the shell glasses, which I just also love. This, they're like a little peach shell. So these glasses are a little bit shorter. And then I got two of the lobster glasses. I love these ones, they're so fun. I just think this is the perfect like garden barbecue. We didn't have any like fun glassware. So I absolutely love all of those. And then we also got this, a really nice big like bamboo salad bowl. And it's this nice blue on the outside, perfect for like big sharing salads and barbecue stuff. This is just something we really needed, oven gloves. <laughs> We've got these like blue oven gloves that really just like clash with the kitchen and I wanted something really plain. So these are perfect plain black oven gloves. Don't know about you guys, I love an oven glove like this, that's all in one. I don't like it when they're separate. I find those ones really hard to use. So yeah, this is perfect, really needed one of those. And then I also got some stuff for Grey, because like I said, they've got baby and kid stuff, all part of this any day range as well. First of all, for her bed, for her cot, I got this set, which is a cot, duvet cover and pillowcase. It looks like this. Oh my God, let me show you close up. It's so cute. It's like little peaches really 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 sweet there's loads of like baby stuff on there so if you are pregnant if you're having a baby definitely check it out because they've got like baby grow sets and all kinds of things and then these which are really really handy these are the baby hooded towels we have these before um but grow is definitely due a new one so they're just super soft let me open them up oh so so soft should i take one out for you let's take one out so it's got a little hood and then it's a towel. She still fits into these luckily. And then it just wraps around them and it's so nice and soft. So that's a pack of two, which is just great value. Oh, and then the final thing, which has been sitting in my office for a while and Grey has been desperately trying to steal it. She's gonna be very excited for this. This is a little bag. Let me open it up. We really, really needed one of these. It's got little rubber duckies on the end and little sticky pads and these stick on the bath and then this is a little netted bag and you can put all the bath toys in it, which is ideal because whenever I go to have a bath, it takes me ages to like take all the bath toys out. So if we have one place where they can all just like fit in there, that is perfect. So like I said, things for special occasions when you're entertaining friends and you're having barbecue in the garden or items just for like everyday things like putting your kid to bed, bath time, bedtime, which are like everyday things, but actually also kind of really special. I love bath and bedtime. It's like my favorite time of day with Grey. I'm really, really excited by this new range. So definitely check out the links below and have a look at the rest of the range. Oh my God, I forgot one thing. Very excited by this. Look at this throw. This is just a gorgeous, like kind of oatmeal, big knitted throw. Again, I thought this would be perfect. We'll probably, we'll, actually we'll definitely keep this inside, 
but when we're sitting outside, if we're having a barbecue, if we're having dinner outside in the evening, it gets a little bit chilly. So nice to have like a big blanket throw to just like cozy up with. It's so soft, like, oh, it's so, so nice. So yeah, that's, that's the final item. Okay, it's gonna be Grey's bath time soon. So I'm gonna get this ready for her. She's gonna be so excited. She's gonna love taking all her toys out. So let's just put everything. Everything lives in there. A new towel can hang on the back of the door. All right, we can change this one. Rich, we have a new yes, oven mitt. Yes, that's not multicolored. Look how smart that looks. What are you making? Stir fry. The gray? Yep. Nice. Oh, look guys, actually over in the corner here, this is the outdoor rug. You can kind of see it's like teal, it's got this really cool print on it. But like I said, I'm gonna get it out when it's not absolutely soaking wet out there. And it's gonna go under our little sofa. It's finally stopped raining, so I can show you our new outdoor rug. Like I said, it's just, I love how it just zones the area and makes this space just look like the dining space. Because obviously we've got this decking and now this just looks more complete. I really, really love it. Let me show you a closer look. It's so, so nice. Really happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, while I'm just taking some photos, let me show you how good these glasses look out in the garden and also the throw. Oh my God, it's so, so snuggly and I love the color. Guys, if you've never played with kinetic sand before, oh my God, it is so addictive. It's like squidgy, it's like sand, yeah. but it's not really like sand. I'm making gray an ice cream. Look, mmm, ice cream. Pretend it's not real. Would you like some strawberry? Mm. Am I gonna mix the sand? Yeah, whatever. Mm. Wow, this is so, look, if you crumble it, it feels like sand. Yeah. But then it sticks together. I don't understand how it works. Guys, it's like non-messy sand. Excellent toy for a two-year-old. Oh, that looks really good. Lucky girl. Mm. I said, go show me your bath toy. And she's like, whoa. Oh my God, this toy is so annoying. The minute it touches water, it sings and it, it won't stop until it's not in water. Okay. <gasps> Great, is that where all your toys live now? Mm. Mm. It's the best time of day. <laughs> Taking my makeup off. Rich has started um, stories. I'm gonna go join him in a minute. We'll do some bedtime stories with Grey and then Rich is going to do a workout tonight. Um, we've got some kind of like rice dish, I think. All of Grey's bath toys are neatly back in the netted bag. I'm loving it. And she was very excited to have a new towel. She's so observant of things like that when there's like something new. She's like, she goes, ooh. So she's very excited that she had a new towel. And I'm excited to put on her new bed sheets. I hope you guys enjoyed... Um, coming along with us this morning to the market. It was, God, it feels like ages ago, even though it was just this morning. I've been like working all afternoon and stuff, so I couldn't really show you what I was doing. Oh, it feels so good. Take my makeup off. I'm gonna use my Clarins Blue Orchid Treatment Oil tonight, just because I fancy something a little bit more luxurious. Sometimes I just love the feeling and smell of like a really lovely oil on my skin. I'm gonna go join Rich and Grey and enjoy her bedtime together. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to go and check out the John Lewis Any Day range. It's so, so brilliant. I forgot to mention earlier that they even have like furniture pieces in this range. It's just so, so good. I was blown away with the selection when I first looked at it. So definitely go check that out. Ta-da, do I look glowy? Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.